If I had to sum up my WordPress experience as a beginner with just one picture, it would for sure be this one. Yeah, it was rough, but you, you, my friend, can be this one. And do you know why? Well, because now with Hostinger's new AI website creation tool, you can have a personalized, ready to use WordPress site like this beautiful one in just a few seconds and very, very easily. So in this video, I'll show you everything you need to know on getting started and actually using this tool. So keep on watching. All right, so maybe you already know this, but just to give you a quick heads up in order to make a website, Website, you'll need these two things, a hosting plan and a domain name. Simply put, a hosting plan gives you the server space and resources to store your website's files and make them accessible on the internet. Meanwhile, a domain name acts as your website's address, allowing users to find your site very, very easily. And I'll show you how to get both of these things using Hostinger, but if you already have those, just skip to the next part of this video and it's gonna be at this timestamp right here. Okay, so just go ahead and click the first link in the description and you'll see the Manage WordPress hosting plans. Since the AI website builder for WordPress is currently available only on the business and cloud plans, choose one of them. Then you'll need to pick a time period for how long you want to have the plan for. If you want to save some money in the long run and get a free domain name for one year, go for the 12th month or longer period. Oh, and by the way, you can use our code WP10 for an extra 10 percent off of your purchase. Just insert the code right over here, then simply proceed with filling in your information. And that's basically it. Well, now that you have your hosting plan, it's time to set up your WordPress and you don't need anything extra and you don't need to go out of your way because once you make your purchase and once it's complete, the onboarding process will start automatically. So let me do the onboarding process with you. So just hit the start button, select that you'll create a new website and then pick WordPress. Now moving on with the website type, I'll pick a portfolio, for example, and try to build one for my, let's say, imaginary dance instructor business because I'm definitely not a dance instructor. Well, anyway, all right. Once you pick the type, you can choose between Hostinger's pre-built templates and themes or the AI builder, which will build the website by following your business description, basically. Of course, I mean, this video is all about the AI creator. That's what we're here for. So let's just pick this one. Now, the following step is to choose a domain name, which you get for free for one year with the business plan. So simply type the desired domain name and see if it's not taken. Now, I really strongly suggest not rushing this decision so that you don't end up with a domain name you might regret later on, like this IT scrap company once did and ended up with this, well, let's just say funny looking domain name. I mean, after all, a strong domain name is also a good marketing tool for your brand. So if you don't have a strong domain name, don't you worry. You can leave this dilemma for your future self to figure out and go with the temporary domain name by clicking right over here. Okay, so once you do that, you can select your server location. And even though websites created with the new WordPress AI builder are optimized to load quickly and get top scores on page speed, you'll still get the best results by choosing the server closest to your target audience. Now, this really minimizes load times, giving users a faster and smoother experience. Now, after this step is done, WordPress will start installing. So, I mean, just give it a minute or two. And once that's done, the fun part begins as this is where AI steps in. Now, first, the AI tool will ask you to describe your brand so it can create a site based on this description. Just enter your business name and share a few key things about your business and how you want your site to look. And really, there's no need to go into every detail here. Like, really don't write anything like add this specific picture to the left or add 500 words here. That's really unnecessary. Just a few main facts are enough for the AI to start crafting your site. And when you're ready, hit create and the map magic will unfold. In just under a minute, the AI builder will present you with a finished website based on your description. And as you can already tell, it contains text and images that are related to this hip hop dance business of mine that I wrote about. Now, the site also has a custom layout tailored to the field of my business and colors that would 
really match its vibe. And I won't need to spend time carefully crafting and creating and designing each page as it already contains the main pages that my business needs. So, I mean, considering how little time I spent and what results I got, this is pretty great, guys. And it can be especially useful for those without experience in web creation. Now, of course, none of the content is set in stone. This AI builder uses WordPress's Gutenberg blocks, meaning I can easily edit, customize, and expand each page however I want. So now let me just quickly show you how you can customize your site. So basically just once you're happy with the result that the AI provided, click confirm and edit to start a personalizing your site. Or if you want to give it another go and see what else the AI tool has to offer, just hit create again to try a different prompt. But I'm personally, I'm pretty happy with how this site turned out. So I'm just going to click here. Now, don't worry because the editing is super simple as well. Just click on the WordPress logo at the top left corner to get your WordPress dashboard. Here, select Appearance and then Editor. Once you're in the editing area, you can just click on any element and the editing settings will pop up above them and to the right. If the right side settings do not automatically appear, you can find them by clicking this icon right here. So while editing, you can rewrite the text, change its layout, move it up or down, or add a link to it. There is also this option to select the whole text group and edit it as a whole. Just click the first square and you can arrange the blog however you like. And by selecting styles on the left side menu, you can change the text fonts, colors, shadows, etc. The options here are really, really broad, so just see what you like. The same applies to images. Once you click on any image, you can select replace and upload your own file. You may crop it or add a caption and a bunch of other stuff. You can also click on this little pyramid and make the colored pictures grayscale to suit your aesthetic vision better. Now, this can actually work really well for some of the sites. And of course, the background color can also be changed very easily. Just select it and then choose another color or a background image in the settings bar on the right side, right over here. And these are not your only editing options, by the way. By clicking the plus sign on the top left corner, you can open a menu where you can add new text elements, media files, buttons, and so on and so on. For example, I could insert a famous quote about dancing or a video of this hip hop teacher dancing over here. But if you struggle to come up with the content yourself, or you kind of have an idea but don't really know what you want to the full extent, or how to put it into words, you can ease your pain with AI once again using this AI content creator. Just click on it and it will open a new empty paragraph section where you can simply write a prompt describing the content you want and pick its length. You can even choose a tone of voice and if you'd like, you can enable the image option so the AI will generate both text and a related image. I mean, that's very cool. So let's go with that and just click create content. I mean, this tool is super, super useful, guys. Just trust me. And as you can see in just seconds, I've got a solid paragraph and a matching image are just ready to go. I can give it only a couple of tweaks and I'm going to be all set. And an important reminder here, please, guys, just please don't forget to hit save at the top after making any edits. I mean, we don't want anything to not save. That would be not good. Anyway, and just so you know, you can also find the AI content creator right in your WordPress dashboard. It's super handy not only for creating posts but entire pages which will save you tons of time just go to hostinger and select the ai content creator tab here you can set the text type tone and length then enter your prompt and if you have keywords you plan to target for your seo you can include them here as well and the ai will place them in the best way possible when you type each keyword hit enter and then just add another one and keep in mind that if your site is not in english don't you worry because this tool works in multiple languages. Now, once the page or blog post is created, you'll get a meta description and some suggested images alongside your text. You can publish it right away, but I would suggest giving the text a quick edit to align with your style or see if you would like anything else reworded, basically. Now, over here, you can set the page visibility, make it public or private, and schedule a publishing time. Now, once everything looks good, just hit publish right over here. 
And guys, another really great feature is that you can easily switch between pages while editing. Just open the page editing bar here on the right and click edit on any page you want to adjust or create a new one right from here. And just remember, if you have any questions whatsoever about customizing your site or anything else, just feel free to ask the AI assistant. I mean, AI comes in once again to save the day, but since it already knows all of your website structure, it can give you informed answers related to your website. You will find this assistant at the bottom in the right corner. And do you know what else could be in this corner? Yep, that's right, your brand's logo. So if you already have one, you can easily upload it by clicking on the header and selecting edit. Then just click on the logo button and upload your file. You can also make it bigger or smaller by just dragging it. And after that, hit the save button, simply put. But guys, if you don't have your logo just yet, don't you worry, you can try out Hostinger's AI Logo Maker. Yep, lots of AI tools here at Hostinger, but they're pretty great. So to use this AI logo maker, I mean, it's very simple. Just write a short prompt about what you want to see in your logo, pick a style and watch it create four different logo versions, which you can download or edit by adding your own brand's name or slogan. If you're interested in this tool, you can later check the link right in the description. And all right, guys, once you've finished all the changes to your site, ensure everything looks polished and works properly and just everything is good. And you can check how your site looks live by clicking on the visit site in your WordPress dashboard. Test all the buttons and the links and look out for any spelling or grammar mistakes. I mean, this is really important and this is important to ensure everything else works very smoothly. You may also want to check your site's appearance on tablets and mobile phones by returning to the editor and clicking this little icon at the top. Guys, definitely don't skip this step since most people, I mean, nowadays tend to open websites on their phones or computers. Okay, anyway, now about publishing. With WordPress, your site is published the moment you create it. However, if you skip the domain name creation during onboarding, you should handle it right now so your website is easily accessible by everyone. So if you finally have a strong domain name that you thought thoroughly about, you can go to the Hostinger dashboard by clicking on Hostinger at the top and then selecting HPanel websites. Find your website in the HPanel and click on dashboard and then on domain. Now just type in your name, ensure it's available and registered by following the instructions. Oh guys, and just one last thing I absolutely must mention is the AI troubleshooter, which you get when using Hostinger. So just in short, anytime your WordPress dashboard crashes or you encounter any other technical issues, you can just go to your H panel where you manage your hosting and the AI troubleshooter will fix things for you. So now that you've got your website all set up, it's time to focus on actually bringing some traffic into it. And one of the best ways to get more visitors is by boosting your SEO to climb high higher on Google search results. Lucky for you, I've got the perfect video with all the tips and tricks to get you there. So be sure to check it out. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the new tools coming up that we release in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.